Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to be getting a in your course for going exam. And today we're here with sorting a string 2D array using Java. So just to clarify, what I mean is, if you're not familiar with my tutorials, I do a lot of file handling videos, and we have records, usually an ID, a name, then an age to provide a good example. We're going to be using that type of style. So what I mean is we're going to have uh, a 2D string array and each element of that array is going to be a field and each column is going to be its own record and we're going to sort these records or columns. For instance, let's say we want to sort the data provided here by the ID number. Well, it's going to be uh, this record because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, then it's going to be this record, which is 1, 2, 3, 6, then it's going to be this record, because it's 3, 4, 5, 6, then it's going to be this record, because it's 5, 6, 1, 2. And the name and the age will also be sorted with it. So we're sorting records, not every single element of this 2D array. If you're looking for that, this isn't going to be your tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're also going to be able to sort by any column you desire. So, if you want to sort these records by their uh, age, we can do that, their name, or their ID, or anything you want. So, let's get right into it. So, we've got our string, uh, 2D string array called data. We've assigned it with a few records. Then we're going to do a system.out.println. We're going to then do a for loop, which is going to just iterate through the whole string array. And what we're going to do is we're going to do system.out.println, string.join, comma, data, i. And we're going to do for int i equals zero, i less than data.length and i plus plus. Basically, each line we're going to just join every field of a line together and print it. And we're going to put a comma in between each one. Then we do data equals sort array, data and zero, which I'll get into later. Then we do system.println after sort, and then we copy the exact same for loop, so we're printing the data after it's been sorted. That sound good? Let's look more at this sort array method down here. So it's a public static st string 2D array method. You might not have seen these before, but this is just going to return a 2D string array. And we've called it sort array. And we, it takes in a 2D string array and then an int for the column. This is the array we're sorting. This is which column do we want to use to do the sorting. Like I said before, do we want to sort by the ID, the name, the age? We're going to do all of these. And this assumes the data type is a string. And you'll see why in a moment. This is the entire sort function. And you might think this is very small and why are we doing try catch? And what are these weird things here? Well, we're going to go into all of that. But firstly, do your try catch statement. Try catch with your curly brackets. Make sure to put in an exception E. And what's going on is you try a bunch of code. If something goes wrong, execute what's in the catch. If nothing goes wrong, just carry on like normal. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing arrays.sort. And arrays.sort has two parameters. It has the first one being the array you want to sort. And the next one being the comparator. And the comparator is just a function we can use to specify how we want to sort our data. So we can put in data, which is our array. Then we're going to be doing bracket A, comma B, bracket. Then we're going to do a line and then an arrow. It's like a little arrow here, actually. <laughs> and then we're going to do integer.compare. Integer.parseInt A col integer dot pass int b col then some brackets then a semicolon and what's going on here it's a lot so what we're actually doing here is a lambda expression and a lambda expression is a short block of code which takes in parameters and returns a value which is very compact and very convenient to use for things like sorting and I won't go into more detail because I want to keep this tutorial as simple as possible, but I will in the future make a detailed tutorial on Lambda expressions because they're very powerful, very short, very useful. But we can e really easily do a sort. 
So A and B just represents two values we're going to compare to see which one is greater than the other. And what we want to do is we are actually going to do an integer compare first because what we're going to do is we're going to try and convert the data to integers. And you might be thinking, but why? Well, if we don't do that, then if we try to sort by the age or the ID, we're going to be doing string comparisons, but we don't want to do that. We want to do integer comparisons. An example could be if we were to sort these current um, records by their age, it would actually be 23, 240, 25, then 69, because that's how a string would order it. But we don't want to do that. We want to do 23, 25, 69, then 240. So if we convert them to integers, they'll get sorted the proper integer way. Same with the ID, potentially. That issue could occur. So we're going to try and convert these to integers first. And we obviously do integer.compare to compare two integers. Hopefully that makes sense. And obviously we do integer.parseInt and then we do a and col. And you might be thinking, why are we doing this? Well, literally, col is going to be the column or which field of a record we want to compare. So we do a col and we do b col. Because literally a and b just represent fields of this string array that we are sorting. And so we want to tell each of them to be in a column that we desire to sort, which in this case could be two if we want to do the age, one if we want to do the name, zero if we want to do the ID. Now, what if we try to convert a name to an integer? Well, that's going to fail. So this doesn't get exec this won't finish executing, and instead, instead of the program crashing, we go into the catch statement where we do arrays.sort data, the same as before, a b two a col dot compared to b col. So we're doing a string comparison instead of an integer comparison because we don't we want to compare whatever we're sorting by string as opposed to an integer comparison, which will be alphabetical as opposed to numerical. Now, there are, and we're using a, lam a lambda expression again to do that. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Again, sorry if this doesn't fully make sense. I'm teaching an easy way to sort your data as opposed to teaching you the ins and outs of Lambda expressions. But in a future tu tu tutorial, we are going to cover all of that if you do, if you are curious about how they work in detail. So subscribe if you want that. But let's go and show this code in action. So since we're doing a uh, data equals sort array data zero. Wait, before we do that, make sure you return your data. Just do return data so you actually return the sorted array. And then in this line of code, data equals sort array data and zero. Well, what we're doing is we're passing in data, which is the uh, string 2D string array we want to sort. Then we pass in zero. So that means we want to sort by the ID or the, the first column. So make sure to save your code with Control S or the save button and then hit play. So, before the sort, this was the data. After the sort, as you can see, we've sorted these columns by the ID. Let's change it to sort by the age. No, by the name. Obviously, it's going to do alphabetical order. Pretty cool. Now, we're going to do it by the age. As you can see, it works in exactly the way we want it to, which is 23, 25, 69, 240. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you found this helpful at all in sorting your 2D string array columns, then why not subscribe if you want to see more like this? Also subscribe. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.